Oh, how we love to play at Anfield. Hello, guys. Welcome back to 2FC, aka 2 Footballs Combined. I am at work. Was going to do the video at home, but the little one decided she wanted to watch a DVD in our bed, so I couldn't do it. Oh, well, doing it now. Hope you like the green hair. I have changed it, and I've had a little bit of a trim up. Hope you enjoy. <laughs> Fucking 2-1 against Liverpool. Three games on the trot at Anfield. We fucking love playing at Anfield. And Ben Teke, the man sold from Liverpool to Palace, has done it. Fucking love it. Oh. Went to the pub, watched it with me, mate. Um, and who is a Liverpool fan, so he got ripped the shit out of. But... It could have been any score. Um, at one point, I'm pretty sure the stats said that they had 11 shots, or 11 attempts, and we had had four, um, but our ratio was better. We had four shots, but two on target, and they had 11 with one on target. And that one on target was obviously Coutinho's goal. Um, it was a bit nervy, probably, when it was one all just in the second half for the first... First 15, 20 minutes. It was very nervy. It was good though. First half was a bit bit passing in the midfield, a bit boring. But oh, love it. Uh was that one one loss in seven? I wanna say seven, I think it's six, but it could be seven. Um fucking brilliant. Amazing. Alright, let's get into this shit. The first thing I wrote down, what or typed down, was 20th minute. Uh, throwing comes in, Benteke takes it down, runs through three defenders, I think. As a decent attempt, Kells just wide at the right hand post. Wasn't on target, but the hold up play was brilliant. Um, the run was decent, um, basically, mugged them off. It was brilliant. Um, it was nice, nice attempt. But then, three minutes later, Silly free kick to give away. It was definitely a free kick. Um, Coutinho steps up. I'd called, I'd called it. I'd called it at the beginning of the game. Coutinho is going to score the first goal. Steps up, whips it over the over the uh, wall, top left hand corner. No keeper in the world is getting that. Um, it was a fantastic free kick. Um, absolutely amazing. And I, I can't really say anything bad about it. Like the free kick was silly to give away, maybe by Luca, but oh well. Um, it was a lovely goal. Can't can't take anything away from that free kick. It was absolutely perfect. Um, we should have had a penalty before we equalised. Um, Benteke was definitely pushed in the back, but the ref gave it nothing. Um, but. The goal, through ball from I want I want to say it was Tompkins. I'm not 100 percent who passed the ball through. Um, but the ball went to Kabai, just stayed on side, um, and then he I think it was like a half volley cross, and who's there? But big Christian Benteke who rifles the fucker to the top of the net. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. One all half time, loving life. We come out in the second half and Schlupp goes on a magnificent run. From, from, he gets the ball at the halfway line, just runs, just keeps going, just keeps going, and just keeps fucking going. Couldn't get his shot away, but we get the corner. Um, the corner doesn't come to anything, but it was a lovely run. Um, and it's nice to see. Nice to see Schlupp getting in the attacking positions that we saw him do um, for Leicester last year. So, happy days if we can keep keep doing stuff like that. And even when um, Patrick Van Arnold come on earlier, I thought he's not going to take Schlupp off for BVA. Um, and Zaha goes off. I'm like, it's weird. But I liked it. Because they overlapped each other. They can both do that left back position or left wing back position. Um, Van Arnold's probably a little bit more attacking. 
than Schlug was, uh, is. It was nice though, I liked it, but yeah. Um, 50th minute, Coutinho, fucking, did we hate Coutinho today? Uh, 50th minute, Coutinho just fucking goes. He mugs off Kelly with a lovely, lovely touch. Um, skins him completely as a as a belt with his left. It goes nowhere. It goes fucking high, wide, and ugly. But I just I wanted to put it in because he did just absolutely tear Kelly a brand new arsehole. I thought it was it was very nice play by him. And then a minute later, Coutinho mugs fucking everyone off. Joel Wall, Tompkins, Kelly, whoever he was in front of, he just annihilated. Could have gone down for a penalty. Uh, 100% would have been a penalty. Uh, even looking at the replays, I, 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 I couldn't disagree if they'd given it. Um, all he had to do was hit the deck, and that's a penalty, and possibly 2 one Liverpool. But <coughs> he stayed honest, stayed true, wanted to score the goal from open play um, as, the, as a crack, uh, but Tompkins jumps, um, amazing block. Uh, goes out for a corner, the corner comes in, uh, ends up at Lucas's feet and he blazes it over. But I just, I'm glad that Coutinho is one of those honest players um, because he, he could have gone down, 100% could have gone down and he would have won that penalty. It was, uh, it would have been a guaranteed and possibly a red because it was from behind. But he didn't, stayed on his feet, stayed true to himself. Um, fair play to him, 100% fair play. Um, 55th minute Klein into that man Coutinho um, yeah he headers it uh, it looked like it was going wide but it was a powerful enough header that if it was on target it could have possibly beaten Hennessy um, but it bounces off Origi and just takes all the sting out of it and just lands in Hennessy's hands it was a uh, it could. It was very dangerous. Like I said, for the first 10, 15, 20 minutes of the second half, Liverpool just attacked, 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 attacked. Mainly Coutinho, but it was. It was um. Nice to see that I defended, even with Sacco not being there. Obviously, being on loan from Liverpool, um, can play. So it was even. It was nice to see that our defence. Still stayed strong without him in it, uh, just in case injuries and shit. Um, next thing, uh, ball. It fucking I can't even remember where it come about. It was just scrappy defending, scrappy attacking, and it ends up when Teke heads it over to Kabaya, who was offside, hundred percent was offside, but it didn't get flagged, and he ended up blazing it over. But it was nice to see that we wanted to attack the ball. Um, Kabai was 100% offside in my opinion. But the flag didn't go up, I'm surprised. Um, but yeah, it was nice. Kabai, that would have been three in three for Kabai. Not bad. And then the 73rd minute. Ball goes out for a corner after an amazing Andros Townsend run. Um, he could have dinked it. He could have dinked it over instead of doing a step over or a couple of step overs, but we got the corner. He takes it and it was an awful corner. Really low. The defender didn't know whether to kick it, head it, whatever. Ends up bouncing through one of the defender's legs. Um, I think he maybe takes a nip off of one of the defenders as well. And uh, Benteke, I want to say it was a diving header, but it really wasn't. He kind of just went down low and just nutted it in. But it was... There we go, 2-1, and, ah, fucking awesome, awesome. Scenes, scenes, scenes at Anfield, but, uh, brilliant. Like I said, it was a terrible corner, terrible defending, but only one man wanted it. One man wanted that ball, and he fucking got it, and he fucking scored. Love it. Um, That's all I've written down, but I want to talk about, Wilfred Zaha. Past couple of games, he's... I don't know whether he's been marked out of it. I know today he was. He was in Klein's back pocket. Um, pretty much the whole game. Klein, I think, once um, lost him. And that was 
he lost him, took him down, got, end up getting a free kick from it. Um, but Zaha, is, I think he's getting marked out of the game because everyone knows that he's the player to go to. Um, Andros Townsend in the past two, three games has kind of not overstepped him, but just kind of maybe on par with who everyone should really be marking. Because everyone's marking Zaha out, so it's going, it's going over to Andros instead. And he's just mugging them off, left, right and centre. It's brilliant. I love having two wingers that can fucking do stuff like that. I absolutely love it. And I love that Andros Townsend has now got back into that form, the, why we bought him. Um, hopefully Wednesday, Wilf will get a bit more free running. It'd be nice. Um, hopefully he'll have another man in the match game. But yeah, I'm absolutely buzzing. Um, Wednesday night, Spurs under the floodlights at Celeste. I don't know. I want to say that we could probably get a point. Um, but the way Spurs are playing at the moment, I know they lost 4-2 yesterday in the FA Cup final, uh, semi-final against Chelsea. But what's more dangerous than a wounded dog? I think that's how the saying goes but you know what I'm saying getting battered and then going to play a team like Palace they're going to want blood um, so it could be a very dangerous game which I will be at work for a fucking again but hey ho I will be watching it live um, I will be making a video on Wednesday night so fingers crossed I'm absolutely buzzing what an amazing amazing game um, even for a neutral, it was a good game, or the second half was anyway. First half was a bit midfieldy for most people's likings. Anyway, <sighs> lovely. Bring on Spurs on Wednesday. Fingers crossed we can get something. Thanks for watching, guys, and peace. <laughs>